So recently I came across a video about a young lady that was attacked by a homeless person by Skid Row. And she looked like she'd been injured pretty badly, but she said her vision should be fine. And I hope she has a speedy recovery. I do not want random people to be attacked by homeless people. And I don't want uh, people to turn their backs on the homeless. So I'm going to give you 18 points, very good points, about why we should pass the War on Poverty Plan. Um, I really hope for the $200 billion plan that is made with all uh, tax revenues, including a wealth tax on the rich, but we have the option for a much, much smaller plan, right? Instead of the $200 billion annually, uh, annual plan, uh, we have a, the option for a very, very small plan, uh, $6 billion a year, and um, that would build 200,000 tiny homes or better every year in America for the homeless. And it would just be 50 cents on average for less than millionaires and $20 on average uh, for the people who are worth a million dollars or more. So let's look at 18 points that have no viable counter argument um, in regards to why people should prioritize passing this plan. Number one, society failed to properly wage war, the war on drugs and manage things correctly. So the governing class, the government, the wealthy. They disproportionately influence uh, the political process, and they fail to, wa to wage war effectively on drugs, okay, and to manage things effectively. And the direct result of that failure uh, is the massive homeless population in America. Last I checked, it between 500 and 600,000 people are said to be homeless on any given night, and I'm sure the number is a million or so, perhaps, depending on how you define homeless. Um, and that is the number that I intend to address, okay? And I intend to have a surplus of tiny homes in the United States of America if this plan is passed. Point number two, they exploited the workforce, okay? Even in Isaiah 58 in their Bible, a lot of conservatives are called conservative Christians. So, and, and they're, they said, uh, they did a poll where they found that they were for a wealth tax. Even in their Bible in Isaiah 58, okay? One of the things that's cited as God's grievances against uh, the Jews at the time was you do as you please and exploit your workers that is in verse 3 Isaiah 58 3 so this is something that is nothing new and there's many ways to exploit the voice no, there's many ways to exploit the workforce and that's what's going on here. point number three they did not provide the services needed to help people get on their feet and did not make them aware of the resources effectively enough point number four the school system is a sick joke okay there's many ways that people learn, and they did not accommodate that. They made it boring. I don't think it's a coincidence. It's called the Board of Education because they make things boring and miserable, and people feel like they don't want to um, get good grades and stay in school, and they, people feel like they don't want to put up with the corporate nonsense after putting up with uh, the, the system, uh, the school system. Point number five. This is a very important one. Inmates get three hots in a cot, so why wouldn't we end homelessness? Why are we rewarding people for being criminals with three square meals and a roof, okay, and sanitary conditions and so on and so forth, but we're punishing the homeless for being victims of the system. Point number six, there's around 60 trillion or so in assets and liquid wealth just sitting around causing inflation with the rich, okay, they have money way up there, okay. Seven, it costs money to clean up encampments, okay, so it's costing us money to not give these people a place to, to be. And sometimes, you know, I've heard of uh, encampment cleanups that cost a million dollars. I don't know why it costs that much, but it certainly costs a whole lot of money. Think of all the tiny homes that could have been built for a million dollars. Eight, California has enough in its surplus to end homelessness. Okay, California easily has enough in its surplus to end homelessness. For only 3.34 billion, we could build tiny homes that wipe out homelessness. That, that would be build 111,112 uh, tiny homes. That's one of my points as well. Anyway, nine. For just 50 cents a month on average and $20 a month on average, we could build 200,000, uh, $30,000 tiny homes a year for the homeless in America. Point number 10. We could, we could build a surplus and combat the stress of people potentially going homeless. Uh, and, and, you know, and that many people live with that stress. Point number 11, many rich people avoid paying taxes. Point number 12, we could have a cleaner nation. Point number 13, it would lower the crime rate. People have done studies where poverty and crime seem to go hand in hand. 
Point number 14, there would be a better mental health. There would be better mental health in the nation. Point number 15, the homeless would be cleaner and more hygienic. Point number 16, it would help combat the spread of STDs as the need for people to prostitute themselves would be reduced. Point number 17 is the 3.34 uh, billion that is all California needs to wipe out homelessness uh, in California, to build tiny homes for these people. Okay, because a lot of these people, you know, one tiny home might accommodate a whole family or a couple. So we don't need a tiny home for every single homeless person, just for, you know, various, for individuals and, and families and couples. Okay. And one in nine people in America live in California. So in, in about five years, we could have, we can wipe out homelessness in California for that $3.34 billion. Uh, also in that five years, you know, we could do the, we could do the war on poverty tax just in California. Okay, say you pay 50 cents a month, okay? In two months, that's a dollar. Two times six for six, you know, because there's 12 months in a year, okay, uh, is 12, okay? So for $12 in one year, that person who pays the 50 cents a month uh, could wipe out, uh, excuse me, could, could pay, uh, could contribute to 200,000, ah, blah, 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 okay. They're trying to, you know, ha. Huh. That person could contribute to building a whole lot of homes in California, okay, in that year. It's $12 a year, okay? Uh, over five years, that's $60 total. That's only 50 cents a month, and that's over five years, okay? They could have helped wipe out homelessness in California by now, and they can help wipe it out. Okay, they, you know, you wouldn't believe what they're doing to make it to interfere with my videos. That's why I say, hey, you know, people need to come together. I've been trying to get people to present these videos for me because I'm targeted for my political action, activism. Instead of helping the homeless, people are targeting me. Anyway, point number 18, tax revenue, okay? This, the plan brings in more tax revenue, and that tax revenue can be used to help people out. The, the, if we did in the state alone, we could um, uh, sign up, you know, apply for a government grant, seeing how we're giving them more tax revenue, more federal income tax revenue, because they would, you know, people are going to build those 111,000, 112 houses. People are going to sell the materials and so on and so forth, and that is going to bring in a lot of tax revenue for the government. So therefore, we can apply for a grant, and we could recoup a lot of that uh, surplus money and that tax money, and use it for other things.